In this video, I'll explain how to draw a Venn diagram with proportional size using the R programming language. Let's do that. In this video, I'm going to show you two examples and the first example is based on the Venn diagram package that we can install and load as you can see in lines two and three of the code. So if you have not installed the package yet, you have to install it as you can see in line two. I have installed it already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line three of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the Venn diagram package, such as the draw pairwise when function. However, before we apply this function, we first need to apply the grid new page function to create an empty plot at the bottom right. So as you can see, after running this line of code, an empty plotting window is created at the bottom right. And in lines six to eight of the code, I'm then applying the draw pairwise function and as you can see within this function, we need to specify the areas of our two circles and we also need to specify the cross area. So if you run lines six to eight of the code, you can see that a Venn diagram is created at the bottom right. And as you can see, this Venn diagram is showing the circles proportional to the size of the area of these circles. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the Venn diagram package to create a Venn diagram with circles proportional to the size of the area of these circles. However, it's also possible to use the Venn Euler package, as you can see in lines 10 to 15 of the code. So in lines 10 and 11 of the code, I'm first installing and loading the package. I have installed this package as well. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it as you can see in line 11. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the Venn Euler function as you can see in lines 13 to 15. And within this function, I'm specifying the areas of our Venn diagram. And I'm also specifying the crossing area of our two circles. And then around that, we also need to wrap the plot function. So if you run lines, 13 to 15 of the code, you can see that another Venn diagram is created at the bottom right. And you can see again, the sizes of the circles of our Venn diagram are proportional to the area of these circles. So in this video, I have explained how to draw a Venn diagram with proportional size. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.